I had a really, really bad experience last week. It took me over 20 years to experience that type of letdown and frustration. And uh, I want to share some truth with you. So I don't normally shoot videos in here. This is uh, my gym, my kid's gym, my gym. <laughs> you might hear cows move. They're in the background back there. And um, this is home. And uh, I went to ground zero. For those of you who are my age, most of us know what ground zero is. But 9-11, I went to where the World Trade Centers fell. And um, many of you who know me or who watch the channel may not realize that when I was a younger man, I lived in New York City. Uh, I was in the entertainment business for about eight years. And... Uh, didn't live in New York for long, but long enough to experience the food, the diversity of culture, the things that made New York great at the time. Giuliani was mayor. It was a great time to be there. And uh, I had two occasions to go to the top of the World Trade Center, obviously before 9-11 happened. And um, it was phenomenal. I remember looking down from the top of the World Trade Center, and helicopters were, were flying below us over the Hudson. Um, but I, uh, man, this was really hard to tell. Um, but I, I, I went back to the World Trade Center. I believe it was 2003. It was ground zero. It was a couple of years after they had excavated everything. It may have been 2004, but it was about that time frame. My wife and I both went to where the World Trade Center Building 1 had stood. And um, they had a fence all the way around it. And there was a big placard uh, on the outside of the fence, and there was some type of a I believe it was temporary at the time, but a temporary marble type of a um, display of the names of the people who perished at 9-11. And uh, <clears throat> for me, it was very hard because I lived in the city. I'd been there. I'd experienced being on top of the World Trade Center. Um, but something happened that day when I was looking at the crater that was there it reminded me of a sermon that I had heard years ago. Uh, in college, I went to Old Roberts University, and uh, I went to a church called Higher Dimensions at the time. Carlton Pearson was the pastor of that church. Uh, I know years later he had a moral failure, but he was, he was quite the uh, um, charismatic preacher. And he preached a sermon about foundations and cornerstones. And he had this very eloquent way of saying, you know, before you go way up, you got to go way down. you got to dig deep in the ground. And, of course, I can't do Carlton Pearson. But he was talking about anything that was going to be built of a phenomenal magnitude. Uh, the higher the building, the lower the foundation had to be in order to build a building that tall. And um, when I was there in New York looking at this, massive crater. I don't know how deep it was. I'll try to see if I can find a picture and post it up here. Uh, but I'm guessing it was 10 or 12 stories deep in the ground. Now, I had actually ridden the subway in New York down underneath the tunnel all the way into some shopping areas that were underneath the World Trade Center. So I know that the train, the subway train, we used to call it train, actually ran underneath uh, the Royal Trade Centers. How far down, I really do not know. But I'm guessing this crater was 10 or 12 stories deep. And the thing to me that was amazing was that they were excavating everything. The foundation of the building had been left. I don't know how much it had been crushed, but it was, it was there. And you could see them taking out everything. They were taking out what had been left of the columns, the rebar. Everything was removed. And as I was looking at how deep the crater was, I thought, man, I now know what that, you know, it's, a, it's a, a visual example of what I learned at that sermon years and years before. Um, but this past week, it came back to me again um, because I had a disturbing meeting uh, that I changed my view of leadership. Uh, not changed my view. It made me realize how flawed leadership can be. Not that I didn't always know that, but I do expect a lot of leaders. 
For those of you who watch the channel, you know that we have a security company. I have thousands of people that call us. They depend on us to tell them the truth. They depend on us to make sure that we are providing them with a solution that will protect their family. I mean, what we do is kind of a, it's kind of a big deal in a way. Um, uh, you know, I had a customer over in South Carolina murdered maybe 15, 16 years ago. And uh, it changed my perspective on security. Like security is not just single fold kind of thing. Security is, uh, it's several things. It's personal defense, whatever aspect of that you believe in. It's a security system. Uh, it's a good security system. And then it can be followed up with, you, know, you have to have some training and you need the police to show up. You know, all those things make up security. That's not what this video is about. This video is about truth. This video is about truth being revealed and truth being given in the best way that it can be. Uh, for those of you who are believers that are watching this, you know some of my videos uh, can be a little rough, but I am a very strong believer. Um, you know, Jesus was talked about as the chief cornerstone, right? Um, he, was all, he also said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but through me. But as I reflect on, or reflected on that foundation that was 10 or 12 stories low, um, it came back to me again last week as I was thinking about cornerstone, the cornerstone. Um, the, the chief, you know, it says Jesus was the chief cornerstone. He was also the way, the truth, and the life. And that cornerstone it's where everything else begins and everything is built off of. The cornerstone has to not only be placed perfectly, it has to have exactly the right angles for the building that's going on top of it, but everything that's going to be built around it at the base and then above it begins with that cornerstone. Jesus was the cornerstone. He was the chief cornerstone, and he was the way, the truth, and the life. So I was told this last week in a meeting um, by some board members that people can't know the entire truth. Um, they, just, they just can't handle the truth, basically is what they, that's, I'm summing it up, summarizing it, but that's what I was told. And I immediately said, hold on, you're telling me that people can't know the entire truth. Well, truth is where everything begins. You're telling me that people can't know Jesus because Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Uh, you know, shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. So um, as I'm thinking about this, I'm realizing people who veil truth are giving an entirely huge disservice to not only the, the body of Christ, but people in general. I mean, I don't know whether you're a Fox News fan. I'm really not, but I watched what happened to Tucker Carlson this past week. Um, I do believe he was the most uh, truthful pundit in Fox News. I think that what happened to him was probably because their thinking of the news is thinking, well, people really don't need to know the entire truth. Uh, we, can, we can only reveal a portion of it, right? And look, because you say uh, people can't handle the truth, that doesn't mean they have to have the dirty details. Um, <laughs> I think of horrible examples. I may give that example anyway, because uh, I like to be straightforward. Look, so the lady that got murdered, our customer, um, I tell you, I can tell you she got murdered in her kitchen. She got shot to death. They don't know if it was one or two people. They don't, they don't, they still, they never, they never found who killed her. They don't even kill her. Um, I'm sure he's gotten his due or the person's gotten their due, but, um, I don't have to go into the gory details of what happened for you to know that she was murdered in her home. And, uh, oh, this is an awful example. If a pastor has a moral failure, or a pastor has something go wrong, goes wrong, I don't have to tell you the dirty details of how many prostitutes he slept with. I think it was with Jimmy Swagger, maybe, that had that happen years ago. I don't have to go to, through the gory details of who, when, how, where, and why, necessarily. Um, but you can certainly say, hey, there was a serious moral failure there, and he has to go. He has to be removed. That is truth. Um, not letting people know the truth can get them killed. I believe that there's some serious flaws in some security systems that are out there. I don't believe it. I know it. Um, that's my business, right? I've been doing that 20 years. So, for instance, the Amazon Ring is a horrible system in some ways, mainly because it's more about 
Amazon's invasiveness into your home and your privacy and what they can glean from the information that you upload rather than really about security um, in their end user license agreement that came out a year and a half, two years ago, maybe, maybe less, I'm not sure. You had to sign off on opting out of some updates that they had done and they had the right to do updates on a periodic basis because that's what you signed on when you bought it. Um, so the truth or a partial truth can get you killed. It's that it's that severe. I think it's the same way with the gospel. I think if people are not given the truth, then uh, there is a huge chance you can lead people astray. Even if you have the best of intentions, you have to stop and think, oh, we can't tell people the entire truth. They can't handle it. So you're telling me again, people can't handle Jesus. He is the way, the truth, and the life. Every relationship is built on truth. Every marriage is built on truth. Every corporate structure has to be built on truth. That's why they have checks and balances. That's why they have the IRS. That's why they have other organizations that come in and do forensic accounting because it needs to be done occasionally. Um, you know, truth has to be paramount or there is no structure for a relationship whatsoever. It will ultimately fail. So um, there is. there was a company that we represented for a while uh, I believe they had some serious security flaws we started finding out about. A huge security company, one of the biggest ones. They're now out of business. I don't know if it was related to the fact that they had, um, they had some security flaws or not. I've always thought that anything that attaches to Amazon, Alexa, Google Home, those types of things are invasive in your home. That's not what this video is about. But this video is about truth. So if you're telling me Jesus is the cornerstone and the cornerstone, the church, is founded upon truth. So the foundation that I saw in New York, it had all been cleaned out. Every piece of rebar, every piece of concrete had come out. There were still excavators in the bottom, but they were taking it all out, right down to the very cornerstones of that building before they rebuilt it. If you're trying to build something on truth and transparency, but you're unwilling to take out a cornerstone that was shattered or flawed or a foundation that was corrupted or broken or that no longer served its purpose, and you're trying to build on top of that, you'll fail. You'll absolutely fail. The truth is paramount every time. This is a little longer video than I normally do, and this is the way off of the subject of what I normally talk about. But I will tell you this important. I think there's some more that I need to talk about. I'm really unsure as to how to deliver that now. I'm unsure as to what all needs to be revealed. But I will tell you that if you've had a cornerstone experience in life, and it turned out not to be a truthful experience, but a flawed one, I want to know if you agree with me that everything should be ripped out and it should be started over new with a cornerstone that's an honest to God, clean, clear foundation built on what things are supposed to be built on, which is truth. I would love to know your opinion on this. And if you will, just give us a thumbs up. Let us know below what you think about this. And... Um, there may be some more to come. Just not sure at this point. There's some things that are, I believe, that need to be revealed, but they're not. Like and subscribe. Thanks.